We are going to learn this session what actually Flutter is, what kind of devices it supports, what is material design, the layout system in Flutter, and how Flutter actually works. And I will show you a quick demo how actually easy to use Flutter framework. Okay. To know what actually Flutter is, we have to think like a programmer. This is our Rob. He is an iOS developer. He has an application, a taxi driver application on App Store, and it is so popular. After some amount of time, people asked him to develop the Android version of the same application. After some messages he received and told him, please develop the Android version, please develop the Android version, we want to test it on our Android device also. He decided to learn a bunch of stuff like Java, Android IML, and so on. And finally, he successfully did the job and built out the Android program and uploaded it to the Google Play. Here, everything is all good, but what if Abram wants to change some of the features of the application? For example, a text of a screen, background color of a screen, and so on. He should open the Xcode for the iOS version, change the stuff, upload it to the App Store, and do the same stuff for the Android, open the Android Studio, upload it to the Google Play. Okay, Abram thinks with himself, why am I doing the same stuff twice? Here, Flutter comes in to make our life so easy. Flutter team invented the Flutter framework that we can code once and with one code base you can export for both Android and iOS. <clears throat> As I told you, the Flutter supports both iOS and Android devices. You can here see bunch of iOS devices with different sizes of a screen, it does not matter to Flutter at all. And here you can see a bunch of Android devices, tablets, phones, and etc. Okay. This is an example of material design. What is material design? Material design is bunch of pre-made stuff like colors, text styles, buttons, and so on. Like the bootstrap in web development and you can use it to develop your applications faster and easier. Okay. And here is an, another example of material design. If it is a little bit confusing for you, don't worry at all. I will cover all during the course and will use it together. And here is some color names, some material colors. And on the right hand side, you can see a button background color, text style, and so on, okay. And as I told you, Flutter supports different kinds of devices, desktops, laptops, tablets, iPads, iPhones, Android phones, and so on, okay. Flutter layout system is using the columns and rows to lay out its UI or user interface. Some of you might be familiar with columns and rows in web development with bootstrap and in the flutter we are going to use columns and rows to lay out our design okay if i want to give you an example of how actually flutter works flutter is painting our codes or widgets on blank frame or empty screen for example i want an app bar here i will use the app bar widget with a title and if i want to uh, put and paint buttons, for example, login and sign up buttons. I have to use, for example, render uh, widget uh, and card widget with a border radius and custom buttons. And we are going to learn it during the course. And here is a quick demo that you can see how we can actually easily, for example, change the title of a screen. And to do that, I am going to change the text of the text widget and here you can see it has changed. And if I want to change the background color of my app bar, I am going to use the material design, for example, the orange color or deep orange color. And if I want to change the content of the screen, I should change the body 
part of my scaffold what is, is, is scaffold I will tell you I will teach you don't worry and here I want to put a taste with content of hello world in the center of my screen and to do that I'm going to use the center widget with text widget as a child and after that I'm going to change the text style make the font size a little bit bigger for example 20 or 30 might be okay and at the end of this demo I'm going to change my icon and you are seeing that it is so easy to do okay I hope you enjoyed this session I will see you on the next session we are going to get familiar with this popular framework thanks for watching bye then